Hello and welcome to a video on quadratic sequences and in this video we're going to carry on from where we left off with arithmetic sequences and move on to finding the nth term of quadratic sequences. So before we start let's just have a recap of how to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So here we've got an arithmetic sequence and the reason I know it's an arithmetic sequence is because the difference between each term is the same. Notice how we're going up by three each time. So to calculate the nth term, we know it's going up by three each term, so it's going to be 3n, but we just need to make a small adjustment. So if we did 3n, so if we do our three times tables, one times three gives us three, two times three is six, three times three is nine, four times three is 12, and five times three is 15. So that would just be 3n, that is our three times table. But in order to get to our sequence, we just need to make a small adjustment. And the adjustment we're making is just to add 2. Notice to go from 3 to 5 we add 2, to go from 6 to 8 we add 2, and for all of these we're just adding 2 each time. So our sequence, our nth term of this sequence is 3n plus 2. And hopefully that's uh, familiar to you, hopefully that's just a recap. What we're going to do now is we're going to move on to another sequence, but this time we're going to look at a quadratic sequence. So let's have a look at this sequence here. Now this is a quadratic sequence and you'll see why it's a quadratic sequence in a moment. Now in order to calculate the nth term of this sequence we're going to first of all start off by doing exactly the same thing as we did with our arithmetic sequence as before. So we're going to calculate the difference between each term. So the difference between 3 and 9, well that is just plus 6. The difference between 9 and 19, that is plus 10. And this difference is plus 14 and then finally that difference is plus 18. So you can already see that this isn't an arithmetic sequence because the difference between each terms is not the same. It's actually different each time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the second difference. So if I label this the first difference, so the first difference between each term is this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the second difference between each term. So the second difference is just, you could think about it as the difference between the differences. Okay, so the second difference between here and here, well that is plus 4, I'm adding on 4 more than I was before. The di second difference here is also plus 4, and the second difference here is also plus 4. So I could say that the second difference between terms is plus 4. Now whenever we have a sequence where the second difference is the same, then this will always be a quadratic sequence, which starts off n squared. Okay, so just like before when we had our arithmetic sequence, this was just n because the first difference was the same. Here, the first difference is different, but the second difference is the same, so it's n squared. Now if we take a look at what the second difference actually is between each term, we can see that the second difference is 4. So we're adding on 4 more each time. So what we're going to do is we're going to half this number and put it in front of our n squared term. So our sequence is going to start off with 2n squared. Now in a separate video I'll explain why this is the case, but for now you just need to realise that we just half this number here and we put it in front of our n squared term. So our sequence is going to start off with 2n squared. So this is the first part of our sequence. So let's just write down our sequence again underneath. So we've got 3, 9, 19, 33, and 51 and I'm just going to write s here for sequence. So if our sequence was 2n squared what would we get? So 2n squared, well for our first term we do 1 squared which is 1 times 2 that gives us 2. Our second term 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 gives us 8. Our third term 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18. Our fourth term 4 squared is 16, 16 times 2 is 32 and our fifth term 5 squared is 25 25 times 2 is 50 so notice how the sequence 2n squared is very close to what our sequence is but it's just slightly different we just need to make a slight adjustment and you can probably already see what that adjustment is so what we're going to do is we're just going to do s our sequence subtract 2n squared we're just going to take this sequence away from that sequence to find out what we're left with so 3 minus 2, that just gives us 1. 9 subtract 8 is 1. 19 subtract 18 is 1. And in fact, when I do this for each one, the difference is always 1. 
So in order to go from 2n squared to our original sequence, we're just adding on 1 each time. So the second part of our sequence is 2n squared and then it's plus 1. And this is the nth term of our quadratic sequence. So let's do another one and this time let's find the nth term of this sequence. And as always, have a go at doing it yourself. And if you do get stuck, just go back to the previous example that I showed you. So I'm assuming you've paused the video now, so let's go through this together. So first of all, we just need to work out the difference between each term. So the difference between 1 and 10, well, we're adding on 9. The difference between 10 and 25, that is plus 15. Here, that is plus 21. And finally, 46 to 73, we're adding on 27. Okay, so the first difference is different, so it's not an arithmetic sequence. Let's work out what the second difference is. So the second difference between 9 and 15, we are adding on 6. Here we're adding on 6. And here we're also adding on 6. So the second difference is the same. So we know that it's going to be n squared. Now we just need to look at what that second difference is. So we can see that the second difference is 6. So remember we half this number. So it's going to be 3n squared. So this is the first part of our sequence. So now we're going to write down what the sequence 3n squared actually is. So 3n squared. So the first term, 1 squared is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. The second term is 2 squared, which is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Third term, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. The fourth term, 4 squared is 16. 16 times 3 is 48. And the fifth term, 5 squared is 25, 25 times 3 is 75. So this would be our sequence if it was just 3n squared, but this is our actual sequence here. So what adjustment do we need to make? Well, we can see that we need to subtract 2 each time. So our, our nth term of our quadratic sequence is 3n squared minus 2, and that is our nth term. So hopefully you found that useful and whenever you're thinking about quadratic sequences always treat the terms as individual sequences because I think that makes it easier to understand. So this here, this term 3n squared, that's our quadratic term and that was the first sequence that we worked out, the 3n squared. And then the minus 2, that was our constant, so that's the second sequence that we looked at and then we can put them together. Because with quadratic sequences, we can also have three terms. So this one here has two terms, but we can have some that have three terms. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.